It's hard not to write these jokes. It's hard not to think about. Even when I watch sports, I be thinking about. Like, like think about. Okay, okay. Say, say LeBron James uh, changed his gender. You know what I mean? Okay. Can he stay in the NBA, or because he's a woman, does he have to go to the WNBA, where he will score 840 points a game? What does it actually mean to be equal? You know what I mean? Like, if women are actually equal to men, then there would be no WNBA, would there? You would just be good enough to play in the NBA with us. Or, here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. I just I got a fucking me too headache. Y'all is killing me right now. It's really fucking tough to watch what's going on. You know, ladies, I said it in my last special. And I got in a lot of trouble for this. I told you you were right, but the way you're going about it is not going to work. But I'm biased. I said it. Louis C.K. was a very good friend of mine before he died in that terrible masturbation accident. And it was his room. You read the story. He was masturbating in his own room. That's where he's supposed to masturbate. And then he said, hey, everybody, I'm going to pull my dick out. Nobody ran for the door or nothing like that. They all just kind of hung out like, I wonder if this guy is serious. <laughs> and he came on his own stomach. There it is. What is the threat? Have any women ever seen a guy that just came on his own stomach? This is the least threatening motherfucker the earth has ever seen. All you see is shame in their face and cum dripping down like pancake butter. He didn't do anything that you can call the police for. I dare to try. Call the police on him. Hello, police? Yes, I am. I am on the other line with comedian Louis C.K. and I think that he is masturbating while I'm on the phone. You know what the police are gonna say in Atlanta? Well, what are you guys talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.